The other type of system that comes into play is a low pressure sewer system. Okay, what is a low pressure sewer system? Years ago, as, as people were spreading out from the cities, we still have to have a way to get our sewage to a treatment plant to be treated. And that's what that gravity sewer did before. You know, you've, gravity sewers before, we talked about that. The problem is gravity sewers are extremely expensive to install because you have to have grading. So I have to be able to start it here, go down here. Usually at the bottom of the lowest point, you would have a pump station that would pump it back up to another area and it goes down like that. So basically over time, you would just have something going like this. That's where the term, you hear us use the term lift station. That's what a lift station was designed for. Gravity sewer goes down, lifts it back up so we can gravity it again. But if I'm building a neighborhood, that's a lot, that's expensive. Gravity sewers use large diameter piping, uh, you know, because obviously everything's flowing down, so it's, it's a larger pipe, things like that. It, it's got to be graded, so you have to trench it down. It becomes very expensive. So wouldn't it be nice to just go out? I know I've got a lot of, I've got some Northeasterners here. So Northeast, your free frost line's what? Probably 18, 20, it's got to be below 24 inches, somewhere like that. Wouldn't it be nice to go down and just dig a trench at 24 inches and just lay a piece of pipe flat on the ground? That's what a gravity sewer allows, or low pressure sewer allows me to do. Low pressure sewer uses the pressure that a grinder pump produces, okay? Most grinder pumps produce extreme, or not extreme, but higher head pressures. So it actually pressurizes that line to an extent. So now I don't have to have the gravity. I don't have to have the grade. I can actually just lay a, a small diameter pipe because it's pressurized. I don't have to have as big a pipe either. So now for like a neighborhood, I can get away with a three or a four inch pipe. So I can do that and I can do it a lot cheaper. It's very inexpensive. You put a grinder pump at each home. Now all of a sudden I have what's called a low pressure sewer system. And it does the exact same thing. You have to have enough pressure to actually pump into the sewer. So a sewage pump, for instance, that does 60 feet ahead won't be able to pump into a low pressure or into a pressure sewer system. The pressurized main is actually like a shutoff valve. You can actually pump to that main if that main has 50 PSI or 90 PSI, whatever that PSI rating would be. Believe it or not, even though it's a pipe and there's a pipe connected to it, I can't pump into it because the pressure in this pipe is greater than what I'm pumping. So it would just pump there and it would be like, even though they're, they're open and there's no obstructions, I, I, I actually could not pump into that system. So you wouldn't want to use a sewage pump on a, on a, uh, on a pressure system.